everybody. Mike Tannenbaum, Victor Cruz, Field Yates. I'm Wendy Nix from NFL Live. Listen, the NFL market, the free agent market, if you will, not unlike the actual market, right? There's supply, demand, we set the price. And I think every year, and we say this for quarterbacks especially, sometimes the market overvalues certain players at certain positions for any number of reasons. Give me a player feel that you think could benefit from that exact situation. I think that Robbie Anderson of the Jets has a chance to make a lot of money. And Robbie Anderson is a very talented player. He's also in the prime of his career age-wise. But not coming off of his most productive season, and let's be clear, the Jets had all sorts of quarterback injuries at the beginning of the year when Sam Darnold was sick, Trevor Simeon got hurt, that limited Anderson's production. But still, given the fact that besides Anderson, I would say there's only one clear-cut prime age of his career player at that position, Amari Cooper, who's definitely going to make more money than him, even in a year when there are a lot of good first-round talents at wide receiver, I think Anderson will make a lot of money for a guy that has not been super consistent up until this Well, it's, it's crazy. We're talking about seven potentially wide receivers if you go by the mock drafts that are out now going in the first round, which is sort of, I mean, it, it's been a while, Victor. But who, el who else who will benefit from the market? Well, I'm thinking of Melvin Gordon. I know that he came off a year last year missing some time due to some holdout issues. But I think missing that time, and then you see Le'Veon Bell coming in a year ago, and having some success, obviously the Jets' season was up and down, but him being the focal point, getting a lot of the touches, being the guy, I think Melvin Gordon is kind of seeing that trajectory, and other teams are probably seeing that as well. And he'll benefit from seeing Le'Veon Bell come in, play, and do the same type of things that Melvin Gordon can do, catch the ball out of the backfield, run between the tackles, be one of those guys that can do everything type of running back. And he's going to benefit from the year Le'Veon Bell had, being that he can produce those same type of numbers. For me, it's Teddy Bridgewater. Sometimes I think we overcomplicate things. Here's a guy that was 5-0 and as a starting quarterback in the NFL, 27 years old. He's healthy over that devastating injury that he had in Minnesota. And if you're a team like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you had a top 10 defense over the last eight games of the season. Teddy Bridgewater could change the fortunes of that whole franchise and make them a bona fide playoff contender the day he signed. It's hard to acquire young, productive, winning quarterbacks in the NFL and Teddy Bridgewater is sitting right there for somebody. And we see it every year, even with the draft, Mike, as we get closer to free agency or the draft, teams get nervous about the quarterback position, and understandably so. And sometimes, you know, cra crazy things have been known to happen, which brings me to this. I mean, look, crazy things happen without the list of marquee names that we see this year who will be on the market. But what on earth will we see in terms of this whole quarterback class? And by that, I mean Tom Brady and Phillip Rivers and, and, and Nick Foles, potentially all these guys who could be out there. We will see that there will be a few quarterbacks who right now, as of this conversation, envision themselves as starting quarterbacks and handsomely paid starting quarterbacks in 2020, not realizing that reality because there's just too many quarterbacks available and not enough obvious starting spots available to fit all of them. Yes, there's going to be plenty of madness and mayhem, but there's going to be somebody who at the end of this free agency period, or whether you want to call it the start of training camp, will be sitting there Number two on the depth chart. I think or you're perhaps right. on a prove it deal for a lot less money than they anticipated. I'm not trying to set up disappointment, but I think the reality There's is. There's just the supply is greater than the demand, speaking of the market, rare. which is very, very rare. Yeah, the biggest anomaly for me is just Jameis Winston. It, is this guy that's thrown for 5,000 yards, obviously had a plethora of interceptions, but is, is a 5,000 yard passer going to end up as a backup somewhere? Yeah. Like, is that really a thing that's going to happen? And if he does, or you're pointing to those 30 interceptions as well, yep. you know, it's, but you're right. I, I, I agree. I agree with that because if he doesn't start in Tampa Bay, I just know from a former GM when you walk in and you say, hey, guys, we just got this quarterback. And if the job description is not to lose the game, he does that. I just don't see anybody handing Jameis Winston a starting job outside of Tampa Bay. And I think of all the names we've talked about, that one is so fascinating because I just don't know where this is going to go. Exactly. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry when the season ends, but this year especially, the offseason will not be short of headlines. There's no question about that. Catch us on NFL Live every weekday. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.